Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Elite Collector. I collect Blu-rays, manga, statues, and today we're gonna be doing our monthly manga haul. Uh, this is actually the first time that I do a monthly haul rather than a weekly haul, because in the past I did do a lot of weekly hauls. I would do a haul video every Sunday, but I feel like I'm oversaturating my channel with a bunch of manga hauls, and I kinda wanna change it up, kinda do some different type of content throughout the month. So moving forward, I'm going to try and just do my manga hauls at the end of the month. So we actually got quite a bit of manga here. I believe it's about 25 plus manga. So we'll go over that. But first, I did want to share some new and exciting things going on with the channel. Uh, first of all, I did recently launch my YouTube membership program. I released a video last week and I talked about all of the perks and all of the tiers. I do believe you guys will get value out of my YouTube membership. So if you guys are interested in finding out more details, definitely go check out that video. I'll leave a link up here in the top corner. And uh, so yeah, that's the first thing. And then the second thing is that I also recently launched a Discord. Uh, it's been up for about a week or so and I already have quite a few members. I have about 28 members, almost 30 members, and it's been pretty active, so I definitely recommend joining. Uh, but one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about here is I do plan to do a figure and statue collection review video in the future, basically reviewing your guys' collection. So if you guys want me to talk about your collection of figures and statues, it can be anything from uh, Funko Pops, uh, scale figures, statues, just Put, go join my Discord. As soon as you join, the welcome channel will uh, take you to the right place to submit your photos. And I can't wait to see your guys' collection. Um, I've been really into collecting figures recently, so that's why I decided to uh, share your guys' uh, figure collection. Plus, there's a lot of bigger manga tubers doing the manga collection videos recently, so I'll let them do that. I even like participating in a few of them, but in the future, I might actually also do Blu-ray collections because uh, that's something that I don't see too much um, and I think it would be interesting to review your guys' anime and Blu-ray collection. So that will be in the future. For now, I am doing the figures. So yeah, definitely go check it out and um, also just check out the other channels in the Discord. I think I have a lot of cool things there. Uh, we talk a lot about statues there recently, but also manga and Blu-rays. I have a channel for each one of those things, which are all things that I collect. So uh, go check it out and let me know what you guys think. And also to celebrate the start of my new Discord, I am doing a raffle for a figure. Um, I plan to do a lot of raffles there in the future, um, mainly because I am an enabler and I want to. I want you guys to collect statues of your own. So I plan to do statue raffles in the future, but for the first raffle, I wanted to start kind of small. So what I'll be doing for my first raffle is raffling off a pop-up parade. Uh, this is a pop-up parade of Miku Nakano from the Quintessential Quintuplets, which is one of my favorite series right now. Just finished the manga and I loved it. So um, I wanted to do this raffle because uh, I actually picked this one up before I decided to go with the Kotobukiya. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and raffle this one now because I really don't need this one. I didn't decide to go with the pop-up parade line. So yeah, uh, in order to enter for the raffle, it will be $2 per entry and I am limiting it to 10 entries per person. So if you guys are interested in winning this one, um, just enter with $2, just one entry and you could possibly win this pop-up parade for just $2. So I think that's pretty, fair and uh if you are a member which i almost forgot let me just shout out my members right now we now have at least one member in each tier which i'm really thankful for i really didn't expect to get this many members within the first week of launching my membership program so thanks a lot guys and i will definitely try and get you guys um as much value as possible in the future um which if you guys don't know if you are part of the membership you are Adam automatically entered into raffles as well. So with the purchase of the membership, uh, they automatically are being entered into this one. So I already have quite a few people entered into the raffles, but you don't need to be a member to join the raffle. You can just go to my Discord, pay the $2 through PayPal, and you'll be entered into the raffles. So yeah, I think that's it as far as all of the announcements. So we'll go straight into the manga haul and we're gonna start off with these two packages right here, which were the last two packages that arrived in August. Uh, there are some manga in here as well as some figures. So I'll take that stuff out and um, I'll share them with you. Um, I won't do the unboxing for the figures. That'll be in a future video, but just so you guys can see what's to come. 
All right, from now on, we'll go into the hand cam. So let's go ahead and get these boxes open and see what we have in here. All right, so yeah, we do have some manga in here, but as you guys can see, here are some of my Kotobukiya Nakano sisters. So these are the ones, the line that I actually ended up going with. So expect a future unboxing for these girls. That's Itsuki. And over here we have Yotsuba. All right, and we also have a manga. So one manga in here, we have Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches, volume one. So I can finally get started with this series if I wanted to, but yeah, pretty awesome cover here. So let's put that one to the side and let me just double check. Yeah, I think that was it. So let's go into box number two. All right, same size box. So I think there's only one figure left, but I'm not too sure. Let's see, let's see what we have in here. So, lots of packaging. And yeah, just one figure in here, so this is Miku. So this now brings me, whoops, that just fell. So this now brings me at four of the Nakano sisters out of five. So now I just have Ino missing, which is my second favorite girl of this series. Uh, this is my number one best girl, Miku Nakano, so can't wait to show her off. But let me just go pick up that box that fell. Hopefully it didn't wake anyone up because it is two in the morning. All right, so it looks like we got some Blu-rays in here as well. So here is the Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel movie, the last one, part three. So can't wait to show this one off in a future video. Then we also got latest volume of Boruto, volume 12. Latest My Hero Academia. And this thing that I've been waiting for for a while, and I actually forgot that I had ordered it, is the Attack on Titan No Regrets Complete Color Edition. I love my color editions, and I love Attack on Titan, so I definitely wanted to pick this one up. Uh, so let's quickly take a look at this. Let me just get the box out of the way. All right, so the cover looks pretty awesome. We got Captain Levi there in the front, which uh, this story, I believe, does kind of share the backstory behind Levi and why he is the way he is. So definitely will be interested to check this one out. I've actually never read this or seen an anime. I think there was a film that kind of went over this. Uh, it was an OVA or something like that, but I never saw that. So this will be my first um, time getting into this storyline. But here's the front. Here's the back with some color panels. And then going inside, here's what the color pages look like. All right, so it does kind of feel like some of the pages are kind of stuck together and it's the pages are also pretty thin. So not the best page quality. I do believe that something like my full metal editions uh, did have better paper quality than this one. So slightly disappointing there, but what can I do? Uh, I, either way, it does look pretty awesome with the full color. So yeah, gonna be pretty cool to read this one. Um, seems pretty short as well so i might actually get into this one sooner rather than later so yeah that's attack on titan no regrets now let's go into everything else that arrived in the month of august all right so like i mentioned it is pretty late it's 2 a.m so i'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly and the first one we got here is erased volume 5 and it seems like Right Stuff recently got a huge um, shipment of a bunch of stuff that was that was previously out of stock because a lot of my haul here in August was a lot of stuff from orders that I had um, months ago. So I'm happy that I'm finally getting these in basically to complete a lot of my collections. And the first one here is Erased. I was only missing volume five, which is the last volume for Erased. 
Uh, so I could start this one now and complete it, which these card covers are one of my favorites. I just love how the white background looks. It looks really clean and really nice in my opinion. So yeah, that's volume five of Erased from Yen Press. Another one that I have been waiting for for a while is Full Metal Alchemist Volume 12. So Right Stuff never sent me Volume 12 and this is one that I had on pre-order a while back. And they even sent me Volume 13 before I got Volume 12. But glad to say I finally have Volume 12. And like I mentioned, the paper quality for this one is definitely much better than that um, Attack on Titan No Regrets. So yeah, and awesome artwork as well. And the spines, I love the spines for these. All right, moving on. We got Golden Kamoy, volume 20. And I'm actually pretty upset about this one because I'm trying to complete the series of Golden Kamoy, um, but I accidentally sent one of my right stuff orders to my old address, uh, which I no longer live there. I'm renting that home out, but right stuff sent me an email today actually, and they and they said that they would be sending me a refund for volume 15 and 21 were two that I was missing. And unfortunately I'm gonna have to pay for them again. And I had gotten them at the discounted price, but now if I wanna get it, I have to pay the full retail price, which kind of sucks, but um, I don't know. I might just do it because those might be the only two that I'm missing now. Still waiting for volume two and three, but those I did check and I did send those to my right home address. But yeah, here we have volume 20. And since we're on Golden Kamui, I also got volume 23, which is the most recent volume, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna go over a few pre-orders now. So this is the first one that I got, Golden Kamui volume 23. I also got ZOM 100, Volume 3. Uh, this is one that I really need to get into. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this one. It's basically a post-apocalyptic world with zombies. And this guy right here is just happy that he no longer has to work. So it just seems like it's something that I would really enjoy because I feel like I would probably react like him if something like this were to happen in real life. But yeah, cool covers. Nice artwork. I have shown this in the past. so. Uh, since there's only three volumes, I also might get started on this one pretty soon. Maybe take a break from One Piece and just read a few of these volumes. So, yeah. Volume three. And then we got one of my favorite series going on right now, Raw Hero. And here we have volume five. And this was one, you guys know that this is one that I read as soon as they get here. So, I read it and it was good. I'm still enjoying the series, but unfortunately... Um, I did find out that volume six will be the last one. And I'm kind of sad because where this one ended, I just feel like there's still a lot more to be told from the story. Uh, basically to, I don't know how they're going to end the romance between our main character and his love interest. And I don't know, I'm just kind of sad. Hopefully they do a good job, but I think I've kind of heard that they didn't really do a good job. So. Still gonna pick up volume six. I'm sure I'll still enjoy it somewhat, but um, I really wish this one didn't get canceled. And I don't understand why it got canceled. It's not bad, it's pretty good. At least I think so. So yeah, Raw Hero, volume five, love that one. Then we got probably my next rom-com series that I'm gonna get into, We Never Learn. Been meaning to start this one. And basically now that I'm done with the quintessential quintuplets, uh, this is gonna be the next one to read, which I've heard is very similar to the quintessential quintuplets. We basically have one guy that's tutoring a bunch of girls as well in this one. So uh, can't wait to check this one out. I doubt I'm gonna enjoy it as much as the quintessential quintuplets, but who knows? Uh, but yeah, this is the most recent volume, volume 17. Then we have Jujutsu Kaisen, volume 11, latest volume here. Can't really say much about Jujutsu Kaisen because I haven't started it. Although I will say my wife watched the whole anime without me. She watched the whole season one, one night when I fell asleep and we said we were gonna watch some anime. Um, she just watched everything and she said it was really good. So, so I'm kind of excited for this one, but yeah, volume 11 here. Then we got Comey Can't Communicate, one that I keep picking up even though I've never gotten started into it. Uh, I basically have them all, I'm up to date and here's the latest volume, volume 14. 
I really hope I enjoy this one, but if I'm not, I'm sure I can sell this one off very fast because it's very popular. And uh, Hori Mia, which is another one that I sold off a couple weeks ago, that one sold very fast. So I feel like I'm, I could probably do the same with this one, but I do want to read it before I sell it off. So yeah, Call Me Can Communicate, 14. And Kaguya-sama Love is War, Volume 20. One of my favorite anime. Um, I love the first season. Haven't watched the second season because I'm waiting for the Blu-ray. I usually watch my anime until it's released on Blu-ray. Um, but I'm very sure that I'm going to enjoy the manga as well. I just probably this will be my next rom-com after I get started on We Never Learn. I do want to get into that one first before I move on to another one. Uh, but yeah, Kaguya-sama Love is War, Volume 20. Another Full Metal edition, we have volume 14 of Full Metal Alchemist. We've kind of already talked about these editions. We all know that they're great. They're beautiful. Love the green color here on this one, actually. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, almost complete with these, I think. We just have a few more to go and the series will be complete. So let me know if you guys have seen the anime and read the manga. What should I start first with this one? Should I read the manga first or watch the anime first? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, volume 14 here. Next up, we have the first volume of part four, sorry, part five of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind. I know I've mentioned it before, but for JoJo's, I am only picking up the manga after part four, because part four is where I really started to love JoJo's. Uh, so I picked up, I have all of part four completed now, and I'm going into part five now, which Again, they just have these beautiful editions here. They re this one really does look similar to part four, which I'm glad they kind of continued the whole trend here. I do love these spines and covers, uh, just the whole aesthetic of these more than the first three parts. So yeah, we'll definitely be continuing this one. And I can't wait till we get to part six because I'm anime only for JoJo so far. And um, it, once part six starts uh, getting released in English, I do definitely plan to start reading the manga. But uh, for now, I just want to collect these just because I love the anime so much. So yeah, here's volume one. All right, and the last pre-order, I think, um, I might have a few more, but I just have a lot of stuff here, but I think this is the last one. We have the new Blade of the Immortal Volume 3. I am picking all of these up, and most likely we'll be picking up any deluxe edition that gets released from Dark Horse. So I can't wait to see what they release next, but uh, here's Volume 3. They have the same covers as the Omnibus editions, but unfortunately mine has a few little, like, dents on the front cover so I was kind of disappointed to see this on my editions because I basically have seen every other manga tubers hauls and none of them had this uh, so I just got a little bit unlucky there but yeah other than that I mean I'm not going to return it I'm still going to keep this one still happy to own it so yeah I guess I'll start a new stack over here all right I actually found a few more pre-orders so I'm going to go through these pretty quickly uh, starting off with Pokemon. Love Pokemon. Love these editions. We'll be picking up the rest of these. And I can't wait till my son's a little bit older so I can start reading this to him. Um, definitely this is going to be one of the mangas that I'll be reading to him. I actually have started to read One Piece with him a few nights and it's pretty fun. He kind of enjoys it. So, uh, so yeah, maybe I can probably already get started on reading this with him. But yeah, that's Pokemon. Then we got Asadora, um, Naoki Urasawa's latest manga. Haven't started on this one, but I loved Monster, and I know that Naoki Urasawa is probably one of the best mangakas working now, so I'm sure this one is going to be good. Plus, Meet the Weeb family actually um, talked pretty highly about this one, so yeah, I'm excited to check it out. Then we got Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. Volume 16. These covers for this series almost never miss. They all look really great. So that's the front and here's the back. Otherwise, don't have too much to say. I haven't started that one. Love of Kill, Volume 3. Uh, this is one that Mommy Weeb, I think she's reading this one and she enjoys it. So uh, hopefully I enjoy this one as well. Then we got How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. One of my favorite series. I just love all of the characters in this one. Um, but unfortunately, I can't get started on this volume because Right Stuff never sent me volume six. 
I had it on pre-order um, months ago and when it got released they just forgot to send it to me uh, they sent it to everyone else but me and now I have a gap in my collection and I don't know if they're ever gonna send it to me because apparently volume 6 uh, is pretty hard to find anywhere even on Barnes & Noble I can almost never find it there uh, but yeah have volume 7 technically I could probably get started on this one this volume because a lot of it is pretty episodic so you can kind of pick up any volume and read it and have fun with it but I want to read it in order so I'm just gonna wait until I ever get a volume 6 um, but love this series and you guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already uh, so yeah oh look at that they have their kimonos here in the back they look pretty cute And then we got some ecchi manga here. We have Magical Girl Spec Ups Asuka Volume 11. Haven't started this one, so, so can't really say much about this one. But this next one, Destiny Lovers. I did start get started on this one, and I did enjoy what I read. So I'll be picking this one up as they're being released, especially because it's from um, Seven Seas, or what it says here, it actually says Ghost Ship. I guess they use the Ghost Ship label for any of sort of like their more etchy titles. I've noticed that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one away just because this cover is pretty risky to show on YouTube. <laughs> I think I showed it a little bit too much. Hopefully I don't get demonetized. But anyways, talking about um, etchy manga, I have a few more here. These are new titles and don't know. I don't know if I'm too proud to show these on camera here, but uh, this first one is Call Girl from Another World or In Another World. Um, I believe I saw Otaku Mike talk about this one. He convinced me and I decided to pick it up. And then this is one that Daddy Weeb, he actually had some good things to say about this one, but he ended up taking down his post just because of the subject matter inside of this manga. So it's definitely not for kids, uh, neither of these manga. And I believe this one deals sort of human trafficking. So yeah, just beware before you pick this one up. Um, but since Daddy Weeb had some good things to say about it, and it is a sort of battle royale, it's called Booty Royale. So you know it's a battle royale-esque um, manga in here. I like those type of manga, so I wanted to give it a try. So yeah, we'll see what I think about this one. Um, but yeah, that's it for the Echi manga and the pre-orders. Now let's go into stuff that Right Stuff finally got back in stock and is just sending me some of my old orders finally to me. So the first one here is Yona of the Dawn. They sent me volume six and volume eight. Beautiful covers on these and even more beautiful backs. I always love the backs on these, but yeah, um, I still think they have a few more to send me, but for now, uh, they, they're sending me what they're sending me what they have so six and eight uh, let's see what else do you have here fire force which is one I actually forgot that I've ordered I don't know how many I ordered of this one but they finally sent me six and seven I just checked and it looks like they're still missing volume four so they still need to send that to me uh, so yeah I have up to volume 10 for now excluding volume four then we got some Trinity 7, which I guess I guess I wasn't done with the Echi manga because this one's also considered sort of like a fan service Echi manga. And this is volume 15.5, so I'm not sure exactly what's that about, but trying to collect everything, so I guess I'll figure it out once I get to volume 15. I'm assuming you read this after, vo after volume 15 before getting into volume 16. Uh, so yeah, that's Trinity 7. Then we got Twin Star Exorcist, volume 15. This one might actually also be a pre-order. Hey, one of you guys can confirm, but yeah, having it, having gotten started on this one. Then we got To Your Eternity, volume seven. This is one haven't started, but I'm probably gonna regret not picking all of this series up during the Right Stuff sale. They had them all on sale and I decided to pick up Golden Kamui instead of this one, but been hearing a lot of great things so hopefully i'm able to find these in stock later if they ever have these on sale but yeah for now i think i have up to volume seven next up is witch hat atelier i was missing volume three this was the only one that i'm missing i have up to volume five now don't know if that's up to date but that's all i have for now and um, i could probably get started on this one i picked this one up mainly because i've heard a lot of great things about the art and because I just love things with witches. So I wanted to check it out and I've heard nothing but great things so far. So yeah, now I can get started on this one. 
in Sayonara Football, one of my favorite series right now, uh, mainly because I just really enjoy soccer. And I did a review about this one a while back. I've only read up to volume three. So I need to get started and I need to get back onto this one because now they do have up to volume five and definitely recommend this if you do enjoy some soccer. Uh, next up, they sent me up two more volumes of Black Lagoon. I believe I only picked up up to volume five when I placed this order, but I'm still missing volume one. They've already sent two and three. So one is the only one that I'm missing and I do plan to collect the rest of this one. And I'm loving the character design on the girls on the front of these covers. They look really nice. Uh, so there's volume four and volume five. Uh, so yeah, that's Black Lagoon. Then they finally sent me something is wrong with us. So uh, this is one that I picked up because of out of the recommendation from my manga space, which is an awesome manga tuber. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely go check her out. But um, she's talked great things about this one in her manga hauls and reading logs. So been meaning to start it. But when I picked it up, they never sent me volume two. So now I finally have it and I think I have everything now that's been released. So I'm up to date with it. And this is one that I do plan to read just because um, my manga space intrigued me. So yeah, hopefully I enjoy this one. All right, we're almost done. We got three more series to go through and, well, sorry, three more volumes. And these next two are Neon Genesis Evangelion Omnibus two and three. So they have volumes four, five, and six and seven, eight, and nine. And for those of you who aren't aware, they are releasing the anime, Blu-ray anime sets for this one. Uh, they do have them on Right Stuff now, so you can get the standard and the limited edition up for sale on Right Stuff. You guys do plan to pick it up. Definitely consider using my affiliate link. We're almost to my $50 goal so that I can have a new uh, Right Stuff gift card giveaway. So that would definitely help get us there. But yeah, I just thought I would mention it since I am showing this series off. But haven't started this one. Um, these are actually pretty heavy. I'm getting kind of tired just picking these up. But yeah, these are considered a classic. So thought I'd pick them up. Plus I kind of like how these editions look. I like uh, the look of them on the shelf as well. The only thing I don't like is the fact that they're just slightly taller than all of my other uh, sort of larger format mangas, as you guys can see here. So they don't look good on the shelf because they're always just picking up a little bit higher than the rest of them. So that is just a little nitpick that I have and otherwise they are beautiful additions so these are pretty heavy so I'm just gonna leave them at the bottom here uh, since we are nearing the end and the last one here but definitely not least is goodnight poon poon this is one that I really want to complete and get started on already because I don't know, I guess I just want to get depressed. At least that's what I've heard from this series. I'm curious to see if it will actually make me depressed and start crying. Uh, so far, I haven't really cried reading a manga. So I'm just, I guess I just want to test it out. I want to see if this will really make me cry. And, and I'm just curious to see how sad it is. So far, I have volumes one, three, five, and seven. So I have quite a bit of gaps there and it's pretty hard to find these when they go back in stock. So I have my orders in on Right Stuff and I'm just waiting for them to send them to me. So they finally sent me volume three. Now I'm just waiting on the rest of them. But yeah, that brings us to the end of my manga haul. I'm sorry if I kind of rushed through a few of these. It's just, like I said, it's late. It's already 3 a.m. now, but I wanted to get this one filmed so I could release it. I wanted to release it by the end of August, but it's already going to be, well, it's already September 1st. But yeah, either way, I picked up quite a few things. I know I said it was about 25 manga, but I totally miscalculated there. It's kind of more like double that. I have almost 50 here, I think. One of you guys can maybe count it, or maybe I'll put a number here for you guys to, to know what the actual manga count is here. But yeah, quite a bit picked up in August. We'll see how I do in September. I keep saying that I'm going to pick up less, but my hauls always end up about this size. So we'll see. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I will pick up more or less in September? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, maybe consider joining my memberships. Um, I have a lot of great things coming and I have one surprise that I just found out of and I will be making a video about that soon. 
and it's going to be a great perk for my members so definitely keep an eye out and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video